Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andrew with Run Guns. And today I have a pretty interesting video for you all. And it's from a company called Bison and it's a fingerprint trigger lock. So let's check it out and see how it works. For any of you that have been following my channel for any length of time, you know that firearm safety is very important to me. And I always try to like pass that on to any of my viewers, no matter who you are, you know, safety is of utmost importance. So I, when I had the opportunity to check out this product, you know, I told Bison like, yeah, for sure. You know, they offered to send it to me in exchange for an honest review. And of course I do plan on doing an honest review, um, especially with safety products. And, you know, I am always honest with my reviews and my opinion, but you know, with these particular things, these are life saving, you know, equipment. So with this, I take it especially serious. I do my research on it and I try to pass on quality information for you all that may be considering to buy this. So this is it pretty small, kind of heavy in the, in the box. Um, so just off rip, you know, I checked out their website. They do sell this MSRP is 199. They do have it on sale now for 129. And I also saw on Amazon, you could actually pick it up for 99 bucks. So I'll have links below so you all could check it out in case you're interested, but that's the box. So you can see it, it's supposed to open in 0.3 seconds and they claim the failure rate is like 0.001%. Yeah. So should be very unlikely for it, you know, to go to not, you know, do what it's supposed to do and open in the time that it states it's going to open. So as you can see here, I have my Glock 19 and I also have an AR-15 here and I wanted to try both, see exactly how they work out. Now I was doing some research on Amazon and they did have a lot of reviews already out there. I do like to see, you know, what other people are saying, people that have already experienced it. I hope it doesn't taint my own personal opinion but it does give me a clue of like what to look for and how to better hone in on this review. So in doing that process, literally every single review was like five stars. Everyone had nothing like but good things to say about it. But I did see one review that was kind of concerning to me, to be honest. And they said that in a Glock 17, they were able to get the gun to discharge with the lock on. So, and they gave it a one star review. So that's kind of concerning. Uh, I'm definitely going to test it out and see if that's actually possible. They said it wasn't easy to do it, but they were eventually able to do it. So I'm definitely going to put that to the test, see if I could get it to fire. And hopefully it doesn't fire because, you know, that wouldn't be a good, safe product. But let's check it out and see exactly how this baby works. In case you want some quick specs on it, you know, there it is. It tells you like product weight and a little step by step of how it actually works and how to set it up. So should be pretty easy. It looks pretty user friendly. It does have also a key. So as a backup, so if for whatever reason your fingerprint's not working, lost your finger, you know, you still have a backup here. And this I presume is for charging. And here's your backup keys. So first let's look at the key. So there it is. Pop in, turn, and you're unlocked. And in case you're curious about the locking mechanisms, that's pretty much what's going on there with the key. Charging obviously is very simple and self-explanatory. You have the USB. Here's your little pocket. Just plug. Okay, so just finished setting it up. I actually ended up setting it up both ways in terms of being able to put my fingerprint this way and this way, although it may not be necessary because I was able to actually open it initially, but just to be sure, I wanted it locked in and programmed for both sides. So I did it that way. And playing with it a little bit on my own, I did figure out that um, what this guy was doing is like maybe like he didn't put it on properly, but I think if you put it on properly, it should not be able to discharge. Again, this is empty, but let's see if we can get it to go off anyways to test this theory. So I'm going to put it on actually this way. And you can see there's like pins under here and these pins kind of help lock it into place and lock in a particular position. So you can see there. So if I wanted to fire this gun right now, it's already cocked. Obviously it's empty, but if we could just try to get it in, I mean, there's not a lot, a whole lot of room there. I don't think you could really fit your finger in there. You can't get that bar in there to discharge the firearm because you don't have enough room to move it. So I think if properly installed, it is a safe product. If obviously you don't put it in properly or you put it in very loose, you know, maybe, but I mean, that's pretty tight. I don't know how you're going to get something in there to discharge the firearm and you can't move it back. 
So if I wanted to get this firearm to discharge, you know, I don't know how I'd make it happen because this looks pretty tight in there. Again, you have normal control of your firearm. You can load a magazine, you can do whatever you want, but you're not gonna be able to actually discharge a firearm in my opinion. Now again, let's check out the fingerprint reader. And honestly, as a backup, I would have the keys not too far away, but let's see. There it is, first shot. There it is, popped right open. So yeah, I, I, I did find it to be more reliable now that I practice with it, but you know, it does take a little bit of time. I did, you know, program it twice just to make sure because the first time I was having some failure rates as you all saw, and I didn't think that was normal for this product. They do claim it to be pretty reliable. So try it out again. And now I'm getting pretty much 100% of the time. So I just had to install it properly. Your hands do have to be clean. If your hands are dirty or something, or if your thumb has something, whatever, or your index finger, excuse me, then obviously it needs to be cleaned and you need to install it properly. So if installed properly, it does seem to be a pretty solid product. Let's try it on my Air 15. This is something else I was kind of curious about. Some people, you know, believe it or not, do use an Air 15 for home defense. Uh, it is an excellent option, uh, especially if you live out in the country, you don't have neighbors too close by to you. So let's try this out and see exactly how it installs here and how safe it is. So it should go on something like that. Okay, that's about as tight as I could get it on there. As you can see, the firearm is empty. But let's see if we could get it to discharge. I don't think so. This thing is pretty tight in there. If I did need it. Okay, it didn't work that time. There it is. And you should be good to go. So, also as a backup, and if you don't take it off quickly enough, it will lock again. So there it is. So, and also as a backup, obviously you have your keys. I would have these in a safe place that you know where to access them. But this product surprisingly is um, pretty reliable. I didn't, obviously it's not 100% of the time for me, but I think it's a matter of like me getting used to like setting it up properly and putting my finger in the right position. But you do see that it's not 100% of the time accurate for me. So let me see, that's pretty tight in there. I would say this gun is pretty safe. Um, I'd feel comfortable leaving this around the house. So there it is. Obviously you still have to fire, follow all the safety firearm rules and you know, don't be an idiot. Don't leave this in front of kids or anything like that. But if it's in a well-secured place, you know, this is just a nice little extra thing you could add on. And there you go. You have access to your farm pretty quickly. So now that I've familiarized myself with this product, I'm actually gonna try it a few times before I give you all my final thoughts. So I'm just gonna be running through it and see how, how many failures and how many successful times I get trying to open it. So it is open. Try it again. And from what I found, it doesn't take more than three tries. Um, I know seconds count, you know, when you really need your gun but that's pretty much my experience with it so far. Let me see again. So maybe I have to get my finger right in the middle. So try one more time. There it is. And ready to go. So I'll continue practicing this a few times. I won't bore you guys with the footage, but I do want to see exactly what the failure rates are. So my concluding thoughts on this product are that it's pretty good, pretty reliable. Um, after testing it a few times off camera, I did kind of get the hang of it and it did seem to be pretty reliable for me. So I am pretty happy with that. I do get occasional um, misreads, but for the most part, you know, it does work pretty well. It does appear to be pretty robust. Um, I think the price is very good. Uh, if you have kids or you just need to keep the gun, you know, locked at home. You know, I think this is a pretty cool product. It has been pretty reliable for me, but as you saw, you know, I do get occasional hiccups. I haven't had it, you know, malfunction more than three times in a row. So usually in less than three tries, I am able to get it. 
So here's another one. And, you know, usually it does come out pretty quickly. There's a second one. Third. Okay, so that's probably like the longest one I've had. And there it is. So not perfect, but it is a pretty cool product. I think it is better than just having, I don't know, a combination or a lock, lock and key, because at least here you have a chance of opening it, you know, with uh, just your fingerprint. You do also have obviously the, the key feature here. So as a backup, you know, you do have a key. So I think it's pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say it's the end all be all in terms of like 100% reliability, as you just saw there. But in terms of just being another option you have, you know, I think it's pretty good. Again, if it doesn't work, you could always use your key. I'd recommend it, but with a little bit of caution saying that, you know, don't expect 100% reliability out of it. Uh, it is a very cool product and, you know, it does serve a function for sure. Uh, I will probably be using it, especially, you know, if I have kids coming over or whatever it is and I need to keep a gun, you know, readily available. I think it does serve, you know, a good purpose there. So that's pretty much what I think about it. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you all think down below. This has been an honest review, definitely. But um, hopefully it serves a purpose. And for those of you all considering to buy it, you know, please don't be discouraged by this video. You know, you have seen, you know, it does, I think, serve still a good purpose. And again, you know, for whatever reason, you know, you can't, you could always just use your lock and just, you know, open it this way. So you could have this on your keychain or whatever. And, you know, that's what it is. So thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. And I'll see you all in the next one. WRG out.